Mandeep Sharma is an Australian citizen who's not only banned from returning home to his family, but now will be treated as a criminal if he attempts to enter. At the need of art, they have abandoned us or betrayed us. There are more than 9,000 Australians in India wanting to come home, including 650 people considered vulnerable. But from Monday, it will be illegal for citizens to return to Australia from India, a crime punishable by five years jail and fines of up to $66,000. Travellers from India are banned until May 15, when the decision will be reviewed. And this is a very drastic action, but it is designed to keep Australians safe. It's temporary. It's based on the medical advice. This is a desperate grab for a headline by a government and a Prime Minister under pressure because they're not managing the basics in this pandemic. It comes after a loophole allowed travellers from India to bypass the ban by transiting through Doha, including Australian cricketers Adam Zampa and Kane Richardson. The action was agreed to at National Cabinet based on the number of positive cases from India detected in the country's quarantine system. Local community leaders slamming the move. It's a kick in the guts. It's un-Australian and it's unacceptable. They say the policy is redundant because there are no flights from India to Australia anyway, questioning why India is being targeted when no other country at the peak of their infections, such as the UK or the US, were banned or had their travel criminalised. Some people have said, and I'm not sure I will go that far, that I hope this is not a racist dog whistling. Epidemiologists say the decision doesn't make sense given there are other more dangerous variants in the world. The epidemiology is only a justification if you accept that the quarantine system is not working. Joining calls for the hotel quarantine system to be fixed while building purpose-built facilities so no Australian is stripped of their right to return to their own country. We are your citizens. You have a duty towards us all, so do not disown us. Catalina Flores, SBS World News. And in developing news, a Perth hotel quarantine guard and two other people have tested positive for COVID-19. Western Australian Premier Mark McGowan confirmed the three new cases late this afternoon. He says the security guard was infected while working at the Pan Pacific Hotel. Two of his housemates, including a visitor from Canberra, have since returned positive test results. At this stage, Perth is not returning to lockdown, but mask wearing will be mandatory again indoors and outdoors from tonight. This is an extremely difficult situation we are dealing with. We're effectively in a holding pattern, and I hope we can avoid going back into lockdown. But if we need to, based on health advice, then that is what we will do. Contact tracing and testing in Perth are being ramped up. Meanwhile, two new exposure sites at Brisbane International Airport have been identified after a breach of the terminal's green zone on Thursday. Health authorities say a cafe and male toilets were visited by a transiting passenger from Papua New Guinea who tested positive to COVID-19. Anyone who was in those areas between 11.23 a.m. and 11.15 p.m. on Thursday should isolate and get tested. New rules are also being imposed on anyone entering Queensland who has been to an exposure site in another state. They will be required to quarantine for 14 days in government-arranged accommodation. And from today, the Queensland COVID check-in app is mandatory for all pubs, clubs, cafes and restaurants.